Hello, Monsters are bound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3, the Immortal Empire's beta, and the second part of my Grimgore Ironhide campaign, as voted for by my Patreon supporters, so thank you. Last time, we had some, some pretty hairy fights. We managed to secure two provinces so far. We still got Colec to the north over there. Uh, we've got some orcs to the east, uh, west, sorry, and I could do directions, and south. And uh, the poll last time was which direction should we go? And everyone said Cathay. So we're going to Cathay. We're going to go. We're going to go to Cathay, everyone. Uh, I, I don't think I would have wanted to go north, to be honest. Maybe we can make friends with Kolek. He's not a friend friendly guy. Uh huh. I will feast on your son. Feel like that's your son too, but sure, whatever. Um, not sure that's going to have the desired effects. Feels like blowing off your foot to spite your face. Sort of like Brexit. Good. So, uh, I wouldn't want melee attack for my lads. Let's, 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 let's. And we want to replace our orcs with some big ones at some point. Ideally, I was tempted to maybe get some trolls, but I'm going to. We're not. We're not fighting. Uh, not normally. I go for trolls because you're fighting dwarves early on, and they've obviously got, you know, armor out the wazoo, which is the worst place to have armor, and that's an absolute bastard to deal with. I think we're gonna go with growth here for a minute. Uh, I think. Uh, I, I guess we'll make friends with these guys. Seen as we are headed east into Cathay. And I might try and make friends with the ogres as well, because that way I'll be able to recruit smoker units, which would be, which would be fun. So let's let's maybe do that. We do have a regiment of renown, which would be nice to have. So let us merge those lads. We'll get those lads. And yeah, maybe I'll keep them. Maybe. Maybe I'll keep them. I don't know. So, we're going to go east. Now, I think they're probably the best idea. We could underway through the mountains. That's a potential. I was tempted to go up through the Chaos Waste and down through the gate. But all that is uninhabitable. So, probably not the best. Grimgore's a disciplinarian. Oh, he does like disciplining. Oh, yes. So, who now? Okay. Orcs taste rancid. Yet I'll grind the bones if I have to. Thanks. If I give you some money, will you just chill the fuck out? I just think if we could get some some chaos friends, that might be quite nice. So we may head this way. Go through the 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 mountain eaters crush them. Do these guys like the Mountain Eaters? No, they're at war with the Mountain Eaters. So actually, we could be, we could, we could maybe get on side with them. Couldn't we? That could be an option. That could be it. That, yeah, okay. Uh, the only problem being that the mountains, do they only have little provinces. They don't have provincial capitals. Which means that we're not going to get any decent units, really, from from that. For quite a while. So ideally... I want to get some better units here first, and then we can push that. Well, I mean, do we need to? Do we need to wait? Do we just go for it? We got the boys, right? Let's, 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 let's. The flesh greeders are dead. Uh, be at war with the slaves of Zart. I've literally just pieced out with them, so no. Like, it's a great idea, don't get me wrong. Uh, we want more growth here, don't we? Yeah. And money. You summon the storm. I can call. Okay, the sky darkens, the gods watch, the offer is struck. There we go. We'll be friends with Kolek. Maybe Kolek will be You need a boon. Where the fuck is Kolek anyway? Is Kolek alive? What do these green things want? Oh, I just want to see if you're alive. You're strength rank four, so I'd suggest you're probably... I mean, you've got three fucking dragon ogres in your army. What strength rank am I? 88. Good grief. That's... It's not great. 
It's not the best. We could be doing better. Do I want some nasty skulkers? I mean, I don't see why not. Let's mix it up. I don't know if you... Well, you do have better missile strength. So, actually, what we could do is just get rid of all of them. Get some boys. Let's, 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 let's. And we also need to get Gitsnick. So, of course, is Grimgore's big old axe, which has some nice bonuses attached to it. Now, obviously, I'm not using any mods at the moment because there are no mods available. Obviously, soon there will be. God willing. Or more, or Gork willing. Whichever one. Whichever one you like. Up to you. Uh, let's just... A couple of units. Oh, there's Kolek. Hey, buddy. Speak, mortal. What you doing? What, what, you, what you doing, Kolek? What you doing? You seem to be eyeing up my settlement, Kolek. Leave it the fuck alone. Fuck off, Kolek. Fuck off. Uh, let's do that. Upgrade you. Get all the monies coming in. Yeah, because obviously, you know, max rate we get 500 income now, which is pretty fucking amazing. Significantly more than we ever got in the past. Ooh, great skin cannon. Perfect, because then we get some. I don't know. Well, we can get some big ones. They are just better orc boys, apart from the fact that they don't have shields. But they do have bonus versus large. And they are just generally better. Plus they've got more armor. So I'm inclined to get them. But that's still going to take four turns. Four, five, seven turns. Eight, it's going to take eight turns before we have them. That's quite a while. I don't think we can wait for that. So uh, we're just going just gonna to go for it. Uh, I want to... How much scrap do we have? 26. Might be worth saving it, actually. Might be worth saving it so that we can get that tech for that eight extra melee attack for all of our orcs. Because we're definitely going the orc direct. I don't know where Kolex off to. He seems to be stalking through the mountains. He might have he might have gone north, but I suspect he's gone south. So what is he up to, pray tell? Okay. Looters. Diplomatic relations with... Uh, I kind of... I'm just gonna... They... they. Okay, so they did not like my military axes against the Folk, but those guys are dead now, so, you know, why worry about it? Why worry about it? Just chill. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're those guys. Uh, I like you, right? Do you get on with Kolek? Have you met Kolek? I suspect you. Pr nope, you do not have any. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a non-aggression pact with you. And we're going to meander down here now. I probably want to make these lads I get, Immortal's Empire is just a bit shit more leadership of course fear like who cares realistically it should like I don't know do something really cool leadership of fear boring especially when you have the other options as well it's a shame like Scar Snakes is really fun uh, Wurzags is pretty good Groms is pretty good from what I remember. And Azhags is is good. Hello. Okay. Alright. I mean, I don't really know. You're gonna have to traipse through Colex territory to come to attack me. Which I don't think you're going to particularly like. Good. Okay. Recruitment cost minus 10. Is that useful? It. Well, if we can get the heavy clubs, it will be less eating, more building. Yeah, greedy buggers. Also, what's the chances of getting Savage Orcs? I guess 
basically zero. Unless any of the settlements have savage orcs in them, but otherwise, probably not. Never mind. Don't need them. Don't need them. Need to put more clothes on, basically. Running around, flaunting their bits all over the place. It's a disgrace, if you ask me. I want more cash and more growth. Okay, we're going to come down here and we're going to fight the mountain eaters. We're going to shake your hands, Din. Not Hello. Yeah. You'll be lucky to still be. Hello, ratties. Oh, you're fighting those guys as well. Where are you? The fuck are you guys? Oh, over here, maybe? Do they know there's a giant mountain in the way? I mean, I'll take your cash, seeing as I'm probably not going to walk all that way to go and beat you up. Negative growth. Oh, lovely. All right. All right, lads. Yeah, we're trespassing. Fuck it. I'm going to take some of your cash as well. Do you like the bad things we're doing to those guys? Uh, you should do. I bet probably next turn it'll be like, ah, you're trespassing on their lands. Good. Fuck those guys. They're the worst. So, well, I like how the fact how cheap upgrading our money buildings are. Like, that is very pleasing. Uh, yeah, more growth. Like, it's like 500, 1,000. Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap to get big money. It pays for itself almost immediately. Which is very, oh, very pleasing. Chaos, I don't trust you with your weird unmorky gods. What do you want? Yeah, both of you. Uh, you're declaring war. Okay, well, that is fine. You're at war with a lot of people, village. I mean, maybe pick one at a time? Just a thought. Just a thought, mate. Right, the blood guzzlers are dead. You've got a big army there. Can we take it? I wonder if we if we lay an ambush, whether they'll wander off, and then we can take it without having to fight all of them at the same time. Should be nice. Uh, now, what do I want here? Well, a big fort would be nice. However, a shaman's hut. Getting some magical support does feel quite important. So, are these guys... Yeah. I don't want to see your meat hook or otherwise. Okay, we'll see if we can get rid of them. I mean, I could, I could just fight them, couldn't I? They're, what kind of garrison do they have? That's not very big. It's just a bunch of ogres, isn't it? Do we just go for it? That's the Grimgore thing to do. Hiding an ambush stance? That's not a Grimgore thing to do. Charging in and killing everyone? That is very Grimgore. Exactly. It's just a bunch of ogres. Ah, we're going to go for it. It's the Grimgore. You know, what? What? W, W, G, G, what would Grim, W, W, G, D, what would Grimgore do? There we go. That's, and what he would do is go straight in there and start chopping, chopping ogres to bits, which is exactly what we're doing. Well, S Scram is, is getting right in there. Oh, that ogre did not see it coming. He's just he's immediately chopped an ogre to death. That uh, gives us 21 damage. Damage value is gold. Each one of these ogres is worth 21 gold. And here comes Grimgore. And of course, he's even more choppy. Get in there, my son. Yeah. No, he's on his ass. Never mind. I mean, what? what? Grimgore, how much do you weigh? Not that, that, no, that's not blood trappers. No, that's ogre bulls. There we go. 
Uh, 2,000. Right, okay. And the Ogre Balls? 1,500. All right, well, Grimgort is chopping his way through Ogres. Four down already. Here come the boys. Leading the way is the guys with scrap upgrades. And then we have the Orc Arrow Boys who are whittling down Ogres all over the place as they try and rush over here to reinforce their barricades. They're getting shot to pieces. There's some weird pathing going on here. I told these Orcs to attack these Ogres. They started, like, walking over this direction. For some, some of them broke off, but most of them seem to be sort of, like, coming around in a big circle for some reason. I genuinely have no idea what's going on. Get in there. Get on. Get in there, useless bastards. Go on. Start chopping ogres to bits. I don't know how much health each ogre has. God, I think Grimble's killed about 11 ogres already. Scram is doing very well. Up to 13. It, it's like the bit in Lord of the Rings where Legolas and, and Gimli are like having a little contest. Except if if. Scram wins, then Grimgore will probably just chop his head off. Slightly different than the movies, but still. Okay, so that attack seems to be going fairly well. We're getting some good kills over there with your arrow boys. Meanwhile, we have a little flanking force. The two units of Dirty Skulkers, the Orc Ball Boy Biggins, and the Moon Howlers are moving over in this direction so that they can potentially get into the settlement and maybe grab some of these objectives from behind the main engagement. So these Orc Arrow Boys are just, they're, they're doing great. They're, they're working wonders. There's so many dead ogres just riddled with arrows. It's a target-rich environment. Ogres really do have a rough time with, um, with missile weapons. Because they're so big, it's easy to hit them. It's hard to miss. As you can see, quite a few of these ogres are filled with quite a few arrows. That's, of course, going to weaken them, which means when they do come charging into the orcs over here, the orcs can then just chop them to pieces. Well, so far so good. We're taking some damage, but the numbers of ogres in the settlement is dropping quite quickly. We've barely, we haven't really killed any of the noblars, which means all their losses are ogres, and that is really going to sting. Because each of their Noblar units has 160 Noblars in it. So there's one unit over there. There's one unit down here. Oh, those are two units. It's hard to tell. But I think the vast majority of that, that enemy troop count is Noblars. That's why collecting Ogre Kingdoms was, was relatively painless because you didn't have that many models. I mean, obviously the models were more expensive, but, you know, it's not quite as bad as, like, Skaven, where every single Skaven slave was, like, two points or something stupid like that. So you had to literally have hundreds of the fuckers. There's more Noblars there. So there's at least, like, 320 Noblars. I think there's another unit over there. Uh, no, that's like a Bulls. Hmm. Not as many as I thought. Okay, so we're just waiting out of range here, and there we go. We're now beginning the attack. We're going to try and grab some of these objectives, cause a little bit of havoc over in that direction. I mean, to be fair, they do have a lot of ogre balls here. The Black Orcs now getting involved. And uh, racking up the kills very rapidly. 21. Where are they? 28. 29. I know that there's there's some people who say melee units are useless in Total Warhammer. I disagree. I think they're they're fine. In fact, some of the elite ones can do as much killing as a good good missile unit. I mean, not maybe quite as much if you're shooting into big squishy units. Alright, those Ogre Balls. 
Now having to fight orcs as we spread into the settlements. Over here, the boar boys charging a unit of ogre bulls. Obviously, they do have that anti-large. They've got another 12 anti -large. It's not very much. To be honest, it puts them on par with the ogres themselves. So, I'm not 100% sure. Again, boar, boar boys are particularly worth it. But... I kind of love them anyway. I just don't think they're that that effective, unfortunately. Over here, the nasty skulkers dealing with some ogre bulls. It's not a particularly good engagement for them. They do have the armor piercing, but ogres don't have much armor, to be honest. Fortunately, we do have the moon howlers, and we've hit that war button. So more base weapon damage and melee attack and our piercing damage and as the moon howlers come careering into the rear of this ogre unit they're going to have enough and they are going to break and flee in the face of a horde of angry tiny little green people off they go right scram's taking a bit of a beating here but he does he has killed 78 i have no idea if that's all ogres but he's certainly been killing a shit ton of ogres. Meanwhile, Grim got Ironhide with the 42 there. 523 damage dealt value as gold. So Scram has win has won this. Although obviously he's not going to let on that that is the case. Because otherwise, we will need a new Scram. I think that was just a twofer. So good job. The Black Orcs surging forward, and it uh, looks like the last of the Ogre Defenders have fled. Some Noblars showing up their masters by sticking around for slightly longer although i'm not quite sure for, for how long they're going to stick around at this rate, probably not very long looks like they're getting wiped out more and more green skins are being thrown into the blender here as the ogre balls mince their way through them uh it's quite a few yeah ogre, 35 kills there it's all right we, we got more orc boys held in reserve should we need them that's fine. Right, we need to smash down this gate now. Um, yeah, guys, the gate is this this way. G guys, guys, guys. G okay, fine. Give this me there's lots of lots of ogre balls lying around. Oh well. That's uh that's good eat good eating on an ogre. We've managed to rout the ogre forces holding this little objective here, which means we can grab that. And the Boar Boys have been successful, but only just losing the vast majority of their units to take out several units of Ogre Bulls there. But still, they did win. That barricade is going to go down pretty fast. The Black Orcs, Grimgore, and Scram. Down it goes. And we can now push forwards take on the enemy ogre tyrants who has been commanding the settlement's defenses from the top of this little plateau well he's gonna have to defend it a little bit more personally now i don't want to send scram in because he's, he's had a bit of a rough day as you can see he has got 86 kills there um he's done very well but he is a little bit beaten up grimgore on the other hand dark, he is very tired are you exhausted you're just very tired he does have a potion of toughness, which he can he can use, which will give him more armor, melee defense, and of course heal him up as well. You can see Grimgore getting the you're next. And yeah, it looks like it looks like that tyrant is gonna have enough. Uh, the black orcs as well are surging up to join in. Uh, yeah, he 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 gone, as is the rest of his garrison. A tough fight, but that's the kind Grimgore likes. Well, a violent bloody scrap. Just what Grimgore likes. It's his thing. It is time, my lord. Is it? Your reputation has grown to such an extent. Uh huh. Other mobs. Okay, back in your box, creepy old bastard. Right. Oh, actually, Living I wonder what we get. Oh, fuck off. What do we? So we get income from raiding and unit mass for ogres. There's some dwarfs down there. What else do we get? Armor from chaos. Okay. What else? 
That's what we can see at the moment. Obviously, we get growth and replenishment from... Oh, that's demons. We get winds of magic and... Spell resistance for killing demons. Okay, I wonder if we get the killing Cathay. I mean, we've only really got one target at the moment, and that's Yeti Peak. So we could do that. It's going to be... It's only going to be the big trophy. So we can come from raiding. I mean, it's, it's fine. We'll grab this. Um, obviously, we're going to go Gork. It just makes sense. We'll do it now. Uh, so, like this, do we want ride? That's not really that useful. Arders, nails, chariots, the big lads. I do like the big lads. But then I do like my artillery. Ah, we'll go for big lads. I mean, we, oh, actually, you know what? I was going to go for Let's go Chopper and then Foe Seek. Because I want to make Grimgore. Wait. <gasps> Obviously, we get the best of the best. And then we get um, Black Orc Wrecking Ball. And that gives us more hero capacity. So I don't know what the, quite what that does. So enabled if there's no... So as long as there's no lord or hero in the ability range of 30 meters, we get more damage to fed. So as long as he stays away from any characters, or kills them, obviously. So does that mean we can recruit... We can recruit another lad. Cunning. I mean, none of these are... So, I... I Quite like Frenzy. Confident is okay. I do like ambush success chance. What did um What did you have? You just had strong. Which is pretty good, because obviously, you know, you're quite killy anyway. Do I wait? Do wait, do we maybe get someone who's just an agent? That might be the If we get Gets a throat cruncher. And then he can basically just, you know, wander around doing agenty things. Like stabbing people and assaulting people. And that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Right. Scram. You're going to get hard to hit. Let's go with that. We'll take Yeti Peak. What else do we have here? Firemouth and Blood Peak are both owned by dwarfs. And uh, we do enjoy killing dwarfs. So that will be good for, for shits and kills. Get that magical support. There we go. Three turns. Sounds pretty good. Get a boss shack. Uh, we could get a goblin, a goblin big boss. You're a big bully. Uh, fleet footed. None of those are... I'd probably use him as an agent more than anything else. Because um, he can slow down enemy armies, which can be very useful. And knock down walls, which, you know, we're orcs. We don't want to deal with walls. That's for cowards. Cowards hide behind walls. Or we do when we need to. But only when we need to. What now? Hello? Hello, sir? Bloodforged armor. Okay. Would be good to have that. Yes. Amassed. Yes, I know. Every army under your command is now yep. accompanied by additional mobs. That's just one. It's just it's just the one army, actually. Right, throat cruncher. Do you want to go and assault Malgut down there? Come on, buddy. I, I believe in you. I got you got this. Okay, you don't got this. But at least you didn't die. That's something. Uh, are we fine here? I kind of want to keep these guys alive. Can we reach this in one turn? No. Alright, let's just encamp there for a turn then. Uh, we have no recruitment here, do we? No. No, I mean, we... We can get these units. Which is quite fun. Uh, you guys are all fine. We've got building upgrades, but I'm going to leave that for a minute. I guess we are raiding our own territory now, but that's, that's fine. Right, we'll grab Yeti Peak. Oh, Grimgore, he's got his architecture degree. Good for you. 
Okay, you like me. You like me. You... Eh. I mean, you're fine. We'll probably get defenses here, just to be on the safe side. I mean, we could potentially get another army, but I want to spend all the money on myself. <laughs> right, what kind of garrison do you have? Uh, okay, let's assault the garrison. Come on, Grit... Git, Gitter? Gritter? Come on, mate. It says decisive victories. Oh, you really want to kill all my boys, don't you? You really want to kill my boys? You, you guys won't arrive for two minutes. Jesus. I guess we're just in a circle. Keep up the pain. It's not like they've got any reinforcements. We're not currently at war with the dwarves, are we? No. Although they don't like me. Which, you know, to be fair, kind of understandable. Uh, let's grab that one because then we can upgrade to the the horde that's going to go from 375 to 500 big piles of money I think it only used to make 300 so it's like it's like a bonus of 200 which is pretty amazing really it just I, it just means you can like build more stuff which is good I, I assume that also works for the AI the AI can now probably build more stuff but I don't necessarily mind that as long as you kind of as long as you feel like you, you have some armies to use against them. It's not... The, the, the problem I always find is you never have enough armies to deal with, you know, the enemies coming at you. So you build defences everywhere. Angry gods. Um, I want the growth. Now, you are pretty sad. We get less construction costs, which is good. We can get the heavy clubs, which is fantastic. Because that's more... I mean, it does give casualty replenishment rate for Savage Orcs, which we don't have. But the melee attack for just, you know, Orcs is plus eight. That's uh, that's pretty good. Can I just auto resolve this now? No, you really want to kill just everyone with the scrap, don't you? Just, uh, just, oh, we've got some Black Orcs there. I mean, if we, wait for the, if we wait for the reinforcements to turn up, we can use those to just wave assault the Ogres, can't we? I mean, that works. I mean, yeah, we could wait for the reinforcements, but, you know, where's the... WWGD! WWGD. As such, we're now just charging into the settlement while our war reinforcements come in from behind in big columns, because I've just basically sent them... I just split the army into two and just went, you go over there, you go over there. I don't care what happens to you because you're a war army. And that's just fine. So Scram is immediately right in the midst of those Ogre Bulls. Because he can do that. And the Ogre Boys coming around the corner, backed up by Grimgore. Some orcs flanking off to go and deal with ogres and noblars in other locations of the settlement. Going to try and grab this objective. We do have a little barricade there. So there's a bit of a rout happening. The noblars throwing themselves back into the fight to try and hold us back. But they're already losing decisively and wavering. More Ogre Balls, though, coming to reinforce. Back. Oh, they've actually got Wissian's Wild Form on them. Black Orcs in the settlement. We've got some Ogre Balls coming to attack these Orc Boys. This guy's with the... Oh, ow! Jesus! Christ! More screen shape than a Michael Bay film. Bloody hell. Alright, more orcs coming to assist against that little problem. It's just ogre balls blocking every route further into the settlement. We're going to have to chew our way through them. But at the same time, the war forces are mostly unopposed. 
There's a unit of Noblars there, and I think there's a unit of Ogres around here, or is it just... I think... It, oh, there, there's a unit of Ogres there, and there's also just Malgut, who, of course, is the, the Slaughter Master of Beasts. Can he really cast Wissian's Wildform from all the way over there? It's ludicrous. All right, we've got behind him. Scram coming to the rescue, having killed 15 ogres. Nope, he's just he's just he's just watching. He's just chilling. Where are you going, Scram? Just try not to get shot. Fair play. Why why don't you get in there? Just join the party. No? Okay. Well, the Goblin Doom Diver's up. Our wild goblins. Like, they've got spears, but they're not anti-large. Tell you what, they've got weapon strength of 40. That's uh, that, that's quite scary. And melee attack of 60. That That's quite scary. Those ogre balls are not going to do well against those, those goblins and their pointy spears. Meanwhile, the noblars, uh, much worse. So, there we go. Actually, interesting. Like, what is the 21... So, goblins are 21, 26, 28. Noblars are... So you got 28 melee attack. Really? Are you sure? Get the fuck out of town. Seriously? Jesus. Good grief. All right, we've got the Black Orcs from the war fighting the Slaughter Master. He is not going to have a good, good time against those guys. I mean, the Slaughter Masters are pretty melee, you know, competent. But I'm not sure they're going to do very well against the, the Black Orcs, uh, especially a horde of them all surrounding them. Grimgore is so frenzied, he's going to smash his own way through a barricade. Fair play. And uh, we've had a bit of a rough time trying to break through this barricade. A lot of orcs lost there. Big losses. But now the Black Orcs and uh, the Morgub's main G Marauders have turned up. No, it's the Moon Howlers, isn't it? Morgub's is the, the ranged one. And there we go. Army losses taken effect, and the garrison is dead. Probably should have waited for the war, but WWGD. Right. Time to kill some stunties. Ooh, we've got Dirkit Squigs, Logi Bogey, Spore Sploders. We've got the war target occupied. So 10% unit mass and income from raiding 10%. I mean, that's... Mostly useless, but thanks. We didn't seem to lose anyone, which is good. Uh, well, 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 we don't have any of those yet. So, I mean, causing terror would be quite good. But maybe just more weapon strength. Let's get you heroic killing blow. So we're all good there. I mean, we could... I don't know if it's... Uh, Dirk, it's squigs I like. So we could maybe... Merge... Some of these. And then... Get Dirk, it's squigs. I think this is fine. Um, I might get rid of the moon howlers. They're not really going to be that much use against dwarves. Whereas the Spore Sploders should be very effective. So we'll grab that. So we've got Titan Notch. They own the rest of that, though. I wonder if... Does it? Okay. If I give you Titan Notch, will you just, like... Will you be friends? Are you friends? And give me money? Who are you at war with? Darkland Orcs. Uh, that's... Potentially an issue. I, will do I can always go and kill them later. If we do that, because I don't really want that. And that, that gets these guys on side. And we could always potentially then build an outpost. Because they don't have any other friends. And then we can get some, some ogres. 
Right, Gritta. Oh, they do have a yes. They do have a. Oh, they're going to camp down there. Ah, oh, we can just roll over that. It's not really going to be too much trouble. I don't think they can actually recruit unit. I don't think they can recruit. I don't think they can recruit armies from camps. I don't believe so, anyway. And then ah, hello. I'm understood. Tell you what, mate. What if I join your war against those guys? Okay. And then I just have to give you a little bit of money. And as soon as I was going to kill him anyway. You know. I was going to kill him anyway. Uh, what do we... Oh, we can recruit a... Uh, the, the shaman. Disciplined. Yes. I'm thinking Sozpug Guzzler. What's he guzzling? I don't... We don't ask... Don't ask those questions in uh, Grimgore's... Grimgore's army. We just don't ask. Don't ask. Don't want to know. Oh, that's not bad. Right. So, we can cut... We can... I mean, we can get some potential, like... Ratnarok spider the chip going in because I think it's based on the 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 you the, the isn't it something like it's based on the num on the the terrain you walk through is the wire units you pick up I think is how that works uh, but we do need to heal up for at least a turn because we did take uh, quite the beating during that fight and there could be a nasty sack of dwarves somewhere nearby. But we could protect. Can we hop into Cathay now? What we could do is we could get another army, couldn't we? We get another army. And we can this use that. So, hello. Yeah, not right now. Not not right this instant. I I like I like where you're going. Melee attack for our orc boys. They got 46 melee attack, 55 melee attack. Very nice. Uh, so can we underway? Oh, we can't underway. I don't know why. Too far, maybe? Well, I guess. Yeah, I think it's too far. I think that's the only reason. I was wondering maybe we could. Maybe if I go like here, we could underway. It might just be able to hop down. Um, it could actually, because I think having a wire actually reduces your movement for some reason. I've never been entirely sure why. But apparently that's that's a thing. Okay, can we just kill really? Seriously? It's two fucking ogres. Ugh, rip. Just, uh, fuck it. Two units of fucking ogres. I swear to god. Alright. It's just just the fuck. They do have armor-piercing missile attacks. Okay, we'll grab them. Uh, you can encamp. That'll give you a little bit of extra replenishment. We're going to knock down that and get more replenishment. And we probably want defenses. Oh, yeah, these are damage. That's fine. We can. We probably want defenses here just in case they do declare war on us. We need to get Solzpuck down here to... To assist. Now, you guys. You demand to witness the first pool of Kraken Rock the Black. No. Do you wish to die? I, look, I've, I've witnessed the first pool, and frankly, it was jarring, to say the least. Jarring. Wolf breeding, spider worship. Oh, I would like Healy Mushrooms. More control would be pretty good. Leadership for orc units. Uh, oh, getting Oglock the horrible. Toothy weapons. More armor for... That would give us options for black orcs. Not that we have many of them at the moment. So maybe let's go gobby gobbos. No, let's go no fighting because then that leads on to... That leads on to Healy Mushrooms, which is just very useful. Vanguard deployment for all goblins. Does that include Doom Divers? Could we Vanguard deploy Doom Divers? That seems a bit insane. Okay, you are going to assault units. 
let's assault those guys. Come on, come on. Oh, you did it. Good job. I've got to be honest, wasn't it? Wasn't really counting on you to succeed, but you did. Now, who... The Horde makes time. Okay, you're at war with those guys, which means that our agent actions and stuff will be very pleasing to you. And hopefully that'll get uh, Greasus on side, which would be nice. So, you can be a specialist, because that increases your success chance. Uh, you've got 20 out of 20. I just need to heal you up, really. Getting more replenishment there would probably be a good idea. We do have an outpost available. Uh, I guess Karak Vlag is the best place to do it. That is the, the capital. So, alright. I will do that. Get some Noblars. We'll get, we'll get Nob... Eventually, we might be at Ogre Bulls. That'd be nice, having some Ogre Bulls to recruit. I don't... What are they recruiting? Like? They're literally just recruiting Noblars. You dare approach me. <sighs> huh. Wow. All right. All right. I'll see how it is. I thought you were cool, Kolek. I thought you were cool. Genuinely thought he was going to be cool. He was... He is not being cool. That was not a cool move. Oh, it's been a confederation. They're all now Darkland Greenskins. They're the guys at war with the person I have a military alliance with. Why? Why must everything... Oh, okay, you're dealing with those. All right, good. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Uh... That is a problem. At least Sabre Mountain is sort of okay. I could wound you. It's unlikely though. No, probably best best shout. Get your oh god, his allies are here as well. It's all kicking off. Oh shit. Oh, it's all going so well. And this war is slowing me down. Fuck. All right, I think we need need more boys. Orc war boss, perceptive, tactician, confident, fleet-footed. What do I like? Um, I guess confidence is sexy. So that only increases our army upkeep by four percent, which is not too bad. Let's get some of you. Some of you. At least you can defend that. Uh, which is is good news. If we can just harass, if we can harass the, it looks like the dwarves may have lost their main army. I think Greasus has gone and squashed it, which is is fine. That might Yeti. Mm, hello. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't like you that much. God damn it. Why, why is it within two turns everything falls apart? I was like, yes, I'm on top of this. I have a plan. This is all... Yeah, look at me. And then everything just... Just... It just turns to shit. <laughs> In one fucking turn. What the fuck? Ah, oh, god damn it. All right. Well, we'll have to trespass on them now. I mean, at least Greasers should like us now. If you want to because I'll have broken those the, the treaty, so he'll be like, oh, cool. That's cool. And these guys should like me more? Yep, okay. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's not it's not great, but it could be worse. Okay, we got some... What can you get? You can get scrap, so more armor or more weapon strength. Now, considering your weapon strength is 48 already... I think just giving you more weapon strength is is probably probably best plan. Uh, okay. Oh, you motherfuckers! And the worst bit is that is Colex out there somewhere with um with like three dragon ogres. So so good, good, good. 
good. Well, not good. Not really good. No. On a rating of 1 to 10, not, not ideal. I'll level with you. Could be better. Could be better. And we need to hold that for 14 turns. But that is... Okay, I mean, I mean, you know, worst case scenario, we, we lose all this stuff and we have to, like, high, high foot it into Cathay. Absolute worst case scenario. We can go live in Cathay instead. Obviously, I'd prefer to maintain my hold on the mountains over here. Hey, guys. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. You, you, you do you. You do you, that's fine. So, Colex got at least two armies. Oh, fertility rights. Um, I'm not sure that's how green skins work. Um, what are we doing? What? 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 What are we doing now? What's this? What? 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 I'm sorry. What? I'm I'm sorry. Can someone just explain to me? Uh, let's get rid of one of the. And then we'll pop you in there. Okay, now we've got a little bit of ma I mean, not much magical support. Literally just Gaze of Mork. But still. It's it's something. It's something. We're about to lose two settlements as well. Uh, so, that could obviously be better. I can't even fucking march. So if I disband all this war, does that get red? Because... Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is. Sure. Let's get some night goblins. Anything to sort of like just beef this up a little bit. Just to make it a little bit less palatable. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to win that. Oh, you son of a bitch. You couldn't even just take it, could you, little shit? You had to burn it. Oh. Oh. I'm going to give you such a bloody hiding when I get my hands on you. Flooding? Oh, come on. Come on! Alright, at least we'll get some replenishment there. You are still fine. We are losing a little bit of money. Yeah, well, maybe. We still pay for these units, don't we? So, that's probably why this army is costing quite so much. Uh, okay. Can we... Oh, do I want to upgrade them? Because to be honest, I'm going to replace them with, with these guys, aren't I? So, realistically, I probably want to do that. And that. And then these guys have got like 59 weapon strength, which is uh, is pretty legit. And also anti-large. Well, the, the war is ongoing for the moment. Anyway, I could upgrade this. Where is that? Eagle Airy. Yeah, that. Let's do that. Let's get some defences. No, we're not going to do that because we will be bankrupt at that point. No. So, no, none of that. None of that. Or any of the rest. Don't you dare attack that settlement. I will I will lose it if you do that. Be so not. I, I gave Kolek money. He's got my money, bitch. Gonna take great pleasure in tearing your legs off. Yep, Scarpa. Literally just leg it. Granite spot. I reckon you will be back. You will see that and you'll be like, ooh, look at all that money. Okay, more melee attack for those guys? For us? 
for these guys? How are these guys? These guys got melee attack. Okay, good, 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 I guess. Good, good for tra train, training dummies. Good, good job. Okay, do we try and defend Ice Spewer? I'm thinking, yeah. Let's march to Ice Spewer. Because, you know, Grimgore's here now. He's large, he's in charge. He's back, bitches. Okay, we may have burned a few bridges, left, right, and center, but still. My hope is these guys will come back, want to fight. Let's get the Healy Mushrooms, and uh, we can we can fuck them up. Come on, fall for my trap, you... Ooh, do it. Come on. Damn it. Stay resettled. Ooh, you... Oh, I might get the money. I don't think they want to fight us. Also, they're pretty pretty wrecked actually after that fight. Okay, so Granite Spikes is still standing. And they've resetted Blizzard Blizzard Peak, which is good for me. However, I will be bankrupt in three turns, unless I get red. Okay, that gives me a little bit more leeway, as long as I don't lose more settlements. Gorgia Rock does have a garrison. Oh, this war is really slowing me down. I spew we could upgrade. Okay, hear me out. Get rid of these guys. And then we'll get some more cash. So then we can, you know, afford some shit. Maybe. Right. Okay. Okay. It's not really ideal because I can't move very fast. And the AI is going to just, like, avoid me like the fucking plague. Because that's what it does. It's just raiding me at the moment. And it's going to attack that. It says Valiant Defeat. I mean, it says Valiant Defeat. They've got fucking Dragon Ogres, so... That, that ain't happening. Ah, fuck. No, oh, no. Kolex back. Daddy's home. Oh, you son of a... Okay, it says zero, but we're still making money. And we don't have enough money to assault you. Uh, what are you... You're just kind of killing yourself with that. I wonder if... He's probably going to go for gra Granite Spike. Uh, if I just had some more money. It was all going so well and then it all went bad. And I can't do anything about that. Who is Kolek at war with? What do you want? Saberkin, me, and the Imperial Warlands. Right, no one near him, basically. So we're going to have to clear that out. How are we going to do that? See, if we, I don't think it even matters if we get rid of the war. I think it's still... If we could just get him in combat, I should just be able to smother him and kill him with sheer weight of numbers. He's going he's gonna to go for... That settlement. I should have gone around the other side of the mountain, to be honest. Yep. Can we reach him from there? Probably not. And even if we do, he'll probably just run away. So, yeah, okay, well. We can't reach him. We can reach these nerds, though. So, if we kill them, it will give us some cash. Let's do that. I'll take some money. From their dead bodies. That, however, is going to have to wait until next time. Okay, so... The, the poll for next time. Obviously, we are going to eventually head into the east. However, 
being that Darkland Orcs now have a lot of territory, maybe we should just, you know, pop over there and give them a good kicking. Especially if we just ki kick the crap out of their boss, we'll be able to confederate the entire faction, right? So, once once we've dealt with this, I'm not going to call it a dumpster fire, but dumpster fire. Sh should we go and confederate the Darkland Orcs just to sort of like get some more territory? That's going to be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.